Hi, I'm going to show you how to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the JNES Nintendo NES emulator for Windows. Go ahead and click on Windows. Go down to Nintendo NES. Once that loads, we'll scroll down and click on the JNES. You can click the picture, the text, or the download now button. Go ahead and save the file to our hard drive. We've already created a folder to save it to. Once it's done downloading, you can go ahead and just close out of Firefox. Go ahead and open up the folder we saved it to, and we'll right click and extract it with uh, WinRAR. Once it's done extracting, go ahead and double click the JNS.exe file. And this is just a welcome JNS startup. I'm going to tell not to show it again. Um, choose our default language as English. Hit OK. And now we'll go to File. So you can open ROM there, you can uh, change directory, refresh directory uh, system, you can reset, pause, and stop the emulator. I can figure your save state information here. You can choose what region you're in. Just want to leave it on automatic. Option, you can uh, set, the, set it to full screen, you can change your video settings, um, change your resolution. It's going to leave it as a default for now. The drawing methods, like the filtering you're going to use, I like to use the HQ2X uh, filter. I'm not going to worry about full screen resolution for now. I'm not going to go into their emulation. Uh, you can change the pixel clipping, the color spacing it uses for your palette. Um, we'll go back to options now. Audio, you can enable it, disable it, set the stereo, make a graph. You can change all these different options that are checked if you'd like. For input, you can go ahead and configure what you're going to use. For now, it's set to keyboard. You can change it to a, a gamepad. I'm using, I'm using an Xbox 360 controller myself. Hit setup, and then you can configure each key. Go ahead and do that real quick with the keyboard, just so you can see. Just hitting the buttons that it already specifies going through there. That's done. You can just you can go ahead and set a second player if you want, and go ahead and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and click File and Open and load your ROM, and then you're good to go from there. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com, we do not host any ROMs, we only host emulators. Thanks for watching our video.